So we're at the Camp Alive Festival. We've been set up for about an afternoon and a night. This is the following morning, so it's Friday now. And it's starting to get a bit busier. I'm just cooking some lunch for us on the barbecue there. Once just chilling out and Mel is busy editing a video. I've got to edit tonight, but it's too beautiful a day to be in the camper. So I'm cooking lunch for us. Gonna have that and then see what else happens for the rest of the day. van yet again we came back early from the camper life festival in the end because everyone was leaving and we didn't really feel like we needed to stay another night and it actually turned out to work really well because we got back to the house my parents were really pleased to see us and we could just chill out with them for the evening and then this morning I got an emergency phone call from one of my clients asking if I could go and see her as a one-off because she couldn't get out of bed. Her neck had completely locked up and spasmed and she could barely move and she was basically trapped in bed. She had a little one-year-old and she also has a partner but he isn't able to do much physically. So it was a case of me grabbing my stuff, zooming down to Gloucester to go and look after her. We had a two-hour session where we unlocked everything and everything shifted out. So she's been left to just chill out and relax for the rest of the day. I've then come back to Stroud. We've then come back into Mary. We're just at our lockup. Mel is just unloading everything from the festival that we didn't need, like the chairs, the awning, the like area surrounds, like the windbreakers and all that jazz. And then we're gonna go down to the barn and uh, have a catch up with everybody, what they got up to over the weekend and start back on Dragonfly. So the first thing we need to do is go and get some food on the way because it's about half past two and we haven't eaten yet. And then we will see you down at the barn. Oh, and we're expecting a new um, 
renter to come down and I think even Ads is coming to join us as well. So it's going to be a great week here at the barn or there at the barn. So we're on our way to the barn, having to go a different route today because the road is shut. And look, we've got the cows. Wild cows, that's something you don't see every day. Well, you do here. <laughs> There we go, they're all going everywhere. <laughs> Just push out the way. <laughs> Look, this one's just having a busy old little wander. Now they're going to have a little cuddle. Oh no, they're going to go. There they are, they're all going. <laughs> He's just bashing the car. Oh, there you go. He just bashed the car. Yeah, you tap the back of the side of the car to get them moving. Oh, that's a good idea. There you go. Some people knows what they're doing. Yeah, local probably. Local. Although I'm a local, but I didn't know to tap the car because that usually spooks them. But yeah, it spooks them back off the road. Yeah. This is the gorgeous view. I just thought we'd take the scenic route on the way to the barn today. Yeah. Well, we're back at the barn and we are already set up in the barn. I'm just going to make Mel some quick breakfast because we haven't had anything yet. Because we get up early and we come straight down here, have breakfast while we set up. So Mel's doing that. He's getting his overalls on. And I'm going to make us some scrambled eggs with mushroom and tomato. Now, I know that most of you are really enjoying this channel and you tune in every day, every week see what I'm up to with the build and with Mel and our lives and um, I really appreciate all of your support however sometimes it's not always the case and I've got a rather interesting comment to show you all that a user left a couple of days ago and I responded and then I've had a response last night back and I just thought for everyone's entertainment I would enter it into this video just so that you can see sometimes when you get really nasty comments just how shallow and horrible these people are so for everyone's entertainment including mine and by the way any interaction is good interaction on the channel so thank you to that person for your comments because it just keeps me going up and up into the YouTube algorithm brilliant and um, I just thought I'd insert it so here's a clip and the actual comment thread of what we've got going on so far and if you want to add into the discussion please feel free I would love it if you jumped in and we opened this up further for a discussion meanwhile I'm cooking us some breakfast and we've got some nice goodies for lunch so we've got some olives some coriander milk picked up um, some satsumas, we've got tomatoes, rocket, a little bit of cheese and Mel also fancied some cherries so we're getting that. I do love Aldi but the one bugbear I have is that there isn't quite yet enough organic produce and there's still loads of packaging. So the morning is going well, we've just had our breakfast and had a good old chat in the barn about everything. I've just had a message from a friend who I made at the um, Van Life Festival and I asked her about having some 
dreads fitted. She is really talented at making them herself. I've just heard back from her and it looks like I might be getting some dreads fitted in July. So fingers crossed it all comes together and um, very soon I'll be rocking a very new hairstyle. So fingers crossed for that, I'm super excited. But in the meantime, I've just come in and I'll show you what Mel's doing. Underneath the van, he's over there. So we'll go around and show you what he's been doing. How's it going under there? All right. I'm struggling. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Are you my sweaty garage boy? <laughs> so Mel is currently trying to attach this tank to the floor and through to the chassis. So here is Mel, he's fixing these eyes in through to the bottom of the van. Mel bought some bolts and um, washers and that's yesterday. But sadly, after drilling the holes and trying to fit them, they didn't fit because one was Imperial and one was metric. How they were sold together, we just don't know. So we had to take those back to screw fix last night. And we went to B&Q later on that evening and got some M6 bolts and some eight mil washers and nuts. So Paul Mel is busy under there trying to re-drill the holes that were done yesterday to rectify the cock up of the items that we bought. Fingers crossed he gets it all done and he doesn't have to spend too long being under the side of the van because he really doesn't like that. And in the meantime I'm making us a coffee and a tea again. So here the, is the man himself. He's just been under the van, tightening up all the bolts, ready to slide this big beast into place. <laughs> it is a beast as well. Yeah, 190 litres. Yeah, it was a bargain on eBay, wasn't it? That's what I'm saying, it's a game changer. It means I'm not going to need solar. I thought 800 watts was going to go into that power station. I've got a few more details. It's such a beautiful day today. Everyone's chatting and laughing and having a great time. Ads is busy filling up his van with all his bits. I'll show you in a minute what he's got. That's a wrap. He works so hard oh, underneath sure. the van. I'm very proud of him. Oh, coffee. Yes. That's a nice surprise. Thank you very much. A couple of ratchet straps. Should be all right. Plus, a bit of a bloody great bulkhead there. We've got a strip of wood bolted down in the floor in front of it. So it'll have that to go against. How did it go again? go against <laughs> in the event of an impact. <laughs> it can't go sideways because of the wheel arches. Yes, yeah, it's not like wheel arch, aren't it? Painted on where the shower's going. Well, we still need to decide on that. Yeah. I think we should still have it there. What, there? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should still have it there. Oh, OK.
toxic. Oh, I love it. It's because I don't give him treats very often. It's okay. Oops, it's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Dear yeah, baby, it's okay. The crazy noise coming from the bar. There's a bit on the floor be, there. Yeah. There's a bit down there. <laughs> Why is it just me? What? Another static shock. Maybe it's these boots. Maybe. Because they kept back. Uh, there was a pair of trousers I was wearing in the outfit. They were like thermal, like shell suit material on the outside. Oh yeah, they're the bad. And yeah, it was happening all the time. Yeah. But it always happens when I'm on my knees as well. Maybe. That's Maybe the they're not rubber. So this tank, because we bought it second hand, it had, had um, three holes in the top. One of those holes I've used, I put this elbow in, this is going to be our breather pipe. A pipe's going to come down here, go out the floor. So when we fill it with water, air can go out. And also when the water starts coming out, we know the tank's full. The other one, I've put a fuel gauge, not a fuel gauge, a water level <laughs> gauge. I hope it's not fuel. <laughs> no, it's a level gauge. Well, it can be used for fuel as well, according to the website. So that's a level gauge, which you're going to have a little gauge up here to tell us when it's full or empty. This hole, I've put another elbow in, because later on down the line, I'd like to fit a separate water tank over in the corner of the van and have the ability to chuck a pipe in a stream, obviously with a filter on it, and then a filter inside the van, so the pump will pump water from the stream through a filter and then into the tank itself. So these holes that were pre-drilled in the top have actually come have actually come in useful. So yeah. Well done Mel. That's what I thought. Well done. Yep. Yeah. And to hold the tank down I've put some eyes there, so you can just see them. Underneath the tank I've put a little bit of insulation, not a lot, because it was just left over from when we did the ceiling. It's absolutely perfect size for the water tank. This just insulates the bottom of the tank from the floor. And also when I put the tank here, it did actually rock a little bit. But now I put this spongy insulation there, it doesn't rock anymore. Also, um, you know, I just think it's just nice to have a little bit of insulation between the water tank and the actual floor because this floor isn't insulated underneath the tank. I've done this deliberately um, because to save head height in the van and to give me maximum amount of height underneath the bed so I can have lots of storage. But saying that, I'm not insulating in the garage area, but in the living space, in the walkway, I will insulate the floor there. Yeah, where we walk. <laughs> and then down the middle in the gangway, that will be insulated because I'm going to have pipes going from this side of the van to this side of the van. So those water pipes will actually be within the insulated part of the floor. So from the water tank back, the floor will be insulated. I'm because I want to run pipes and stuff from one side of the van to the other. And I figured I'm better off having those pipes top side of the floor to help stop them from freezing rather than absolutely underneath the van. Hopefully that makes sense. So I've just been chatting to Mimi over on Instagram again, trying to get my hair sorted of what braids and dreads I want. So we're going to go for a partial set of 25, I think, with plaits and braids mixed in. I've just got to come up with a colour scheme and like the look that I want and hopefully I'm going to get her booked in in July so she's going to come to me. I don't know where we'll be but we'll work it out and she's going to fit me in with my very first set of dreads and apparently synthetics are the best to go for to start with to make sure that you get used to them and then you can upgrade to wool if you want but they get heavier when they're wet and synthetics look more hair like and you can get like brighter colors and more wild effects with them so i'm so excited if you don't know mimi is from dreadlush i met her at the van life festival two weekends ago and i fell in love with her creative artistic braids that she created she not only does natural dreads for people who want to start but she also makes these amazing hair pieces that you can add in if you didn't want permanent dreads she also offers the feature of sewing in dreads to your already natural hair. So that's what I'm going for, which is called a partial head 
of dreads but they're synthetic dreads they're not actually using your own hair they just weave onto your hair strands so I'm going to go for an under under braid so that all my normal hair fits and sits on top and that we'll go from that we'll try it never done it before super excited I've always wanted like really kind of tribal ethnic hair and I've always colored my hair I mean this hair color believe it or not is actually the most normal I've ever had in my life I've been blue I've been pink I've been red I think I was red for maybe 20 years and then COVID hit and I stopped dyeing my hair and this is the natural sort of way that my hair has gone since then and because I only started my YouTube channel 2021 you guys have all just seen me with this kind of hair but believe it or not I used to have very wild hair and I miss it so we're gonna go back to my roots haha <laughs> literally and I'm gonna embrace the color again and embrace the wild thing that I am inside so I cannot wait we haven't fixed a date yet but it's gonna be sometime in July and she's agreed to let me film the whole process so you guys get to see me get some dreads I don't know what my parents are going to say, but it uh, doesn't matter, does it? I'm my own person and I'm embracing the wild woman that I really want to be. Maybe we should get some for Monty for his tail. That would be super cute. <laughs> Eyebrow enough to know what a quail egg is. No. <laughs> Blue chip, they'd definitely be on board with. Top 10 racing pigeons in the world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that yeah, he does know his pigeons. <laughs> oh, he's he really studies pigeons. Yeah. That's what Craig said in the kitchen earlier. He's like, "There's something wrong with you," because he was eating lunch in a glass. <laughs> One way to do it. <laughs> yeah, just push out the way. I love that little mini.